Oh! Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Despite what Jen and David just said, this is the real story. Oh this my is God. the real story. How did the, you the, get that? You have not seen this. The real takeaway about this is it's not about the dog in the fight. <laughs> Oh, God. Well, thank you, David. Uh, not for that picture. Uh, but <laughs> um, so, so you guys have been heroic in um, your engagement um, all day long today. I know it's been a long day. We just um, wanted to take a couple of minutes. For those of you who have had a role in um, helping organize events, you know that what seems seamless to an audience is reflective of a lot of really hard, really good, really long, really diligent work on the part of a lot of people. And so we wanted just to take a moment and recognize the people who've made this event, these first two days, possible. Um, and we'd like to start with the speakers. A big shout out to the speakers and the panelists. <laughs> really appreciate your Thank you. involvement. And if I can just say a personal note to the 2013 fellows and cities, you make us so proud, so proud. Uh, I also want to thank our uh, gracious host for this entire ceremony, the one, the only, the David Eaves. <laughs> David, uh, you, you've navigated us through an intense schedule and done it with humor, with charm, I actually have to admit, and with wit. Um, and, and even though I had to take a couple of punches, as you can see I can do, uh, we all at Code for America look at you as a devout friend and a brother. So thank you yeah, so much. I'd also like to recognize uh, four organizations who, who behind the scenes have really made the logistics happen. Um, ETS, the production company that has handled all of the stage um, work, and that's Kevin and Craig, Tim, Sandy, and Mercio. Caspian Productions, who has helped with the overall operational support. Aaron, Michelle, Lewis, and Elizabeth. The folks from Yerba, Yerba Buena Conference Center for the Arts, this wonderful space and the fact that they helped with the weather, which was very much appreciated. Maya, Jody, and the full team there. And then finally, uh, Melon Caterers, who fed us all. So a big round of applause for all those folks that helped us. And I actually had to steal this next one from Bob because I had to do this one. So to the Code for America staff. So I, I don't know if you guys have run events like this before, but 500 plus people, two day, three days, right? Oh, it's going to end up being over 100 sessions, dozens and dozens of speakers. You guys know how many emails you got. These guys put in so much time. And did it run OK? Yeah. <laughs> so, so I have to specifically, the entire staff was critical in making this happen, but a couple of key people I just have to call out. There's Megan Riley, who's our COO and CFO. And I assure you, this building would fall down without her. She is amazing. <laughs> and our office, you'll see it tomorrow, is her product. To Jack Maddens and Lauren Dyson, who you guys have seen and heard a lot about, these guys ran this show. You guys think we had anything to do with it? You're, you're lying to yourselves. These guys were great, and I think the show came together pretty well, so thank you guys. And this, the last folks we want to call out are Lauren Reed and Ashley Myers. If LR was out here, Lauren, I would actually bring her on stage and she'd get bright red because she hates this, but I'm going to just say thank you so much. They're the ones who did all the communications and the sponsorship and to make this event work. So thank you so much, guys. And so just in, in closing, and there's just no chance we can top what Jen said, and I wouldn't even try. Um, and actually, let me just do this. Sorry, this is an audible. But I just want to say thank you again to Jen. Um, she, um, she's the reason I'm here. I swear to God, I'm here because she asked me to be here. And um, she's trusted us with this organization, and that's a leap of faith for which we'll always be grateful. And she's inspired me personally, and I think all of us, to do just great things. And that's what this conference was about, was to take stock of the great things that we all did. So just one final round of applause for Coach America's founder, Jen Palka. So we're now at the close of day two. Um, many of you, thankfully, are going to be here tomorrow for day three when we put things to work. Some of you, I know, have to either head home tonight or head home tomorrow.
But no matter what, come next week on Monday, we'll all be back at work. We'll all be going into City Hall or into our startup, going back into the CFA offices or into your brigade meeting. We're all going to go back to work. And what you're going to do there is you're going to start fighting the good fight. And I think what we've seen so far is you guys are put up one hell of a fight. But at times, it's going to feel like it's too hard. As Jen was saying, it's going to be like wrestling with angels. At times, it's going to be like, ah, I feel like I'm on my own and this is too much. But let me show you something. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> this is the network. This is the community you're now a part of. This is the Code for America family. And this family, the people in this room, we've all got your back. So thank you all for being here, and enjoy the rest of the conference. Thank you.